Hello everyone, welcome to a new video here in Stockholm. Let's walk around. And yes, the sun is out today. It is very nice weather after a full week of clouds and rain and really bad weather. It's lovely today. There's many people out in town and we are heading towards Gamla Stan or the old town as you call it in English. Normally when people are um, referring to the old town, um, besides the fact that it's of course the historical town, you know, the, the oldest part of Stockholm, this is where it all started. I think all these buildings are like built in like 1300 or something. Um, let's cross the street first here. Yes, so they are referring to Gamlestan as one place, one island. But what a lot of people don't know is that Gamlestan is actually a collection of four different islands. And today in this uh, Gamlestan tour, I will try to show you all four of them. So the most famous one, uh, which everyone is referring to actually as Gamla Stan, is actually called Stadsholmen. So Stadsholmen is usually confused with Gamla Stan. It's the main island where, yeah, well, the tourists go basically. But there's a few um, other ones, smaller ones, which also are part of Gamla Stan. And they're actually called, I think, Islets, you call them in English. And today I will show you the other ones as well. That's if I can find it. Now I will find them. <laughs> so today probably will be a little bit of a longer walk than usual. Because I've got to explain a few things and show a few things. So it's going to be fun. Follow along. Sorry for the slow start, many red traffic lights. All right, let's go this way. All right, so here we can see it quite properly. There we have the first part of Gamla Stan, which is actually the government building. I've walked past it before on the main shopping street. And that island is called Helje Ans Holmen. So that's the first one. We, we pass it later on. We won't go there right now. See a very bright sun today.
Oh nice, there's a swan in the middle of the lake there. Right, let's quickly cross. So, this is probably the most unknown island of the whole of Stockholm. That's island number two of Gamla Stan. It's Strömbori, if I say it correctly. I think 99% of, of all the tourists miss this little island it's very small and it just has one building on it i don't think i've actually walked on this island before so I gotta do it so I can say I've been on all the islands of Stockholm. Well, it's good views from here. So let's go to the next island back over the bridge. And this is actually the International Institute for Democracy and Electoral Assistance. Whatever that may mean. It doesn't matter, we've been on the island. I don't think I've ever seen a tourist on this one. Some monks on the other side of the street. Feels like summer today, so lovely. So now we are entering the main island of Gamla Stan, which is called um, Stadsholmen. So Stadsholmen is the one that people usually just call Gamla Stan. I think there's a wedding coming over there. They already popped the champagne. That's what I'm talking about. Well, 
the light and the colors of the autumn are so beautiful today. Look at it. All right. So now we're gonna quickly gonna head over to the third island, which is called Zidal Holmen. I already you can see the big landmark over there, the church. quite bizarre actually it's really nice and peaceful and then suddenly you realize you're on top of the motorway the motorway is going straight straight to town I really don't like this it's really the last thing you want to see when you're walking in old town cars Right, we are on Rieder Holmen. Rieder Holmen is also known for uh, many good views. Because when you walk here to the shore, you can take amazing pictures. Well, you can already see the water in front of us. Absolutely beautiful. A lot of people going for an evening stroll here. I don't think I could have picked a better day for this walk to be honest. Although I'm walking a bit towards the sun against all the movie laws. <laughs> they always say keep the sun behind you. But yeah, there was no other way here. Yeah? Stockholm at its best, city hall, the water, and the views. It's a bit windy, so I hope you can hear me. You know a lot of the postcards you always see from Stockholm? They take them from the roof here and from the, over there. this guy taking pictures from the city hall
Right, let's walk up those stairs. This is also a part that uh, some of the tourists miss. They just go straight ahead, straight ahead to Gamlastan. But they skip Zita Holman. Not a good idea because it's wonderful here. As I said, the original uh, Gamlastan is from like 1300, but the most houses are built. And the ones that are still here nowadays, I think they're mostly built in 17 or 1800. So. And also a funny thing to tell is that um, although it is a super touristically place, um, Gamlastan, they're still living about 3,000 people. So there's actually people living in apartments here above the shops and all the historical buildings. Well, that's quite cool. I think if you give a party and you tell people, oh, my address is in Gamlastan, not that hard to find. The only problem is you can't park your car here. So everyone's got to take the train. Okay, we're back on the main island. Nice uh, Italian restaurant here. I've actually heard good things about it. So we are at Stura Nygatan, which means um, actually, it means large new street.
it is actually Saturday afternoon right now so it's about I would say six o'clock in the evening so when you watch this tomorrow this video is one day old Gamnastan has a lot of good pubs a lot of pubs that have been there for many many years a lot of them play a lot of live music and things like that as you can hear A lot of the famous, very narrow alleys. Oh, Hare Krishna. Oh, this is a good pub, Beerstrums. have a good pub quiz there as well. I, I, I once was there with work uh, many years ago. So yeah, this is what I meant previously, like everyone usually just goes straight ahead here. Perfect combo. The pub and next to it the hot dog place. Right, let's go straight ahead here and then we go back through the, the main street over there. Nam. It's like uh, I think this is like an old Viking bar. Well, it's not really from the Viking taste, but <laughs> they probably give the tourists uh, the impression that it is. Right, let's move in here. Can I be the one? Oh, you're okay. 
It's not really um, like Saturday night vibe yet. This is more the, the atmosphere you have before people go out. So it's more dinner and maybe having a pre-drink or whatever for younger people. All right, let's first have a little look on the square here. This is called Yan Toriet, the Iron Square. Fountain. All right, so now let's go back to Main Street here. which is called Vestalongata. This is the most busy and touristy place of the whole of Stockholm. Oh, actually, let's go in here. Super narrow alley. Yes, this is Morten Tretze Grand, which is the most narrow alley of the whole of Stockholm. So here you can see there's actually people living here. <laughs> Playing football. People walking their dogs. It's like very unexpected. <laughs> it's just tourists, tourists, tourists. And then suddenly it's the, the neighborhood kids hanging around here. Tack. All right, and we're back on the street. Ooh. 
Waffles, smells good. They sell waffles and ice cream everywhere, actually. Yeah. And again, I said it before, the light is so nice, falling over the buildings, between the alleys. It's so funny because, you know, this is supposed to be the most Swedish place of all places, but the people in the shops, everyone speaks English because none of them are from Sweden. So the place in front of me is um, quite famous as well because this is um, the place where the climate activist uh, Greta Thunberg um, is always protesting every Friday, like uh, Fridays for Future. Um, she's been here for a few years every Friday protesting against climate change and a lot of other young people supporting, supporting her. So yeah, this is basically here and I think sometimes here as well. So yeah, before we go on to the final island, have a quick look here on the palace. Ah, oh, the palace I've seen too many times. <laughs> these people protesting all right and the fourth and final island of Gamlastan is a really famous one of course because here is the government it's called Helia Ansholmen I think if I pr pronounce it right I'm not sure And then we completed our tour of Gamlastan, all four islands. <laughs> so 
So now you know, next time someone asks you, I've been to Gamlestan, ask them, have you been to all four islands? Because we have. <laughs> Kind of, virtually. So for me, there's only one island missing, which is Tuda Essingen. It's the only island out of 14 um, that make the city. Um, that I haven't been on yet, but I'll try to do that in the next two weeks. So, yeah. Do that before the snow comes. Because you never know in Sweden, it can go really fast. Alright, thank you for watching this tour. See you guys tomorrow on the next video.